Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to talk about living with this, you know, Samsung Z Fold 3 for the past six or seven months. What it's been like, what I think you should do first with any fold you buy when it comes to these. And just, am I still happy? Do I hate it? Let's get into it. So I love it, right? I still love this phone. This phone is awesome. It's amazing. I love just, again, you forget. I've said in my last video, you accidentally flex on people. And what I mean is, you know, you take your phone out. You unlock it. You want to show someone your receipt or what have you. You know, oh, there's my barcode down there. And they're trying to scan it. You open the phone up and you zoom. And you just forget because you do it every day how awesome it is. And how people just kind of step back and, oh, wow. Bloop, bloop, and they go about their business. It's it's awesome. I love it. Um, the things I would do first with this phone. I'm going to grab some props. So the issues, or let's go to issues. So the issues I've had with this phone to date are... Really none. The battery, I charge it maybe once a day, maybe twice a day. Now, I know I'm sure a lot of you are watching YouTube all day with it wide open. That's what it's for. It's not pretend. So I tend to have it closed more of the day because I'm at a desk. I do open it and I'll charge it maybe two times a day. But it's really not that big a deal. Um, again, most times I'm charging it once a day. When I go to bed, it's not at 100%. It's usually not even at 70% when I go to bed. So I don't charge it overnight or none of that stuff. I just use it and go about my business. But some things I notice are the inside screen, it still looks great. There is a plastic screen protector. So you will see kind of in the gaps here and the gap here in the bottom. I've heard people saying they have peeling and once they set it, I started looking for it. So I guess I see peeling here, but it's not stressing me out. Nothing's broken, so that's good. The outside screen though, that's the one I would say, you know, the, the Z Fold 4 is coming out. The Z Fold 3 is on sale. The first thing you want to do is take off this plastic screen protector. Now, I was scared and worried to do it because I know the first fold had issues and they were breaking the screens. But it appears to me that the outside screen is basically a regular phone screen and the inside screen is that special foldy different type of glass screen. All right. So what I bought was I went ahead on Amazon. I picked up this brand here. I mean, they're all the same, right? You open it. What I did like was this one came with the guide. So you lay this on top and you peel off the old plastic that comes on. And again, I should have just taken this off sooner. This plastic was fine. It's dirty now because it's been on a desk, but you can't see little nicks and scratches from your keys. Just anything in your pocket, you know, you're going to get nicks and scratches on it. But again, if you buy this phone today or you have this phone now, go ahead, hop on Amazon get you this little f screen pack it has the inside screens too but the reviews were so 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 i'm not going to bother with it until i absolutely have to but when it comes to the outside get the tempered glass take this piece of plastic junk off use the guide pop it on and what you will notice is the screen is noticeably clearer it just looks better compared to what the plastic and that you know is what it is so there you go get your tempered glass get that garbage plastic off of there you'll be happy Next thing we'll talk about are the cases. So when it comes to the cases, I will say I had some issues and I hate to call it an issue, right? But it's less of an issue, more of the cases may not be as strong as you think they are. So given the shape of this phone, given the phone is what it is, you will, you know, it's, it's going to be cheap plastic, right? I know it's TPU or TPC, whatever it's called. So I had this on the outside screen. It lasted for the whole time, whole six, nine months. I had no problems. You can see the little strip of glue they put there to help it seal to the back of the phone. So once you hook it on, you're going to put it on here and the glue seals right here on the bottom. And all that does, because this one, I didn't put the glue. I found a little replacement. I didn't glue it. This just stops it from you can see it's not even sliding anywhere, but that's the whole point. The whole point is to stop it from sliding. Now, I did get the phone pretty early, so this did not have clips to hold in place. I found a replacement set on Amazon because all I needed was the front. And personally, I like having my wallet on the back of my phone. So I just found this armored case that was very affordable. And all I cared about was the front. So I'm going to take this broken one here. And truth be told, when I was taking off the plastic screen about two weeks ago and I went to peel it off and then apply the new one, 
this just snapped off along the way just trying to get my grip and peel it off so it was probably me but again don't expect otter box things in the front of your phone unless you want it super you know huge and bulky you just won't have it all right get that junk out of here so here is the back that will be waiting for me when i get done when i get my new phone this will be the backup phone in the drawer for the kids you know it's a nice stand it has a magnetic stand that came with this set it's pretty beefy on the edges the Armor Z Full Series, I believe it was ten dollars if I remember right, um, and it has the little glue strips inside. You can't really see it, but they're right there. You peel those off, you stick them on the edges on the this side, you stick it on the edge here, and you just put it on the phone, and it won't come loose. You know, it is what it is. If you want to do it, do it. There you go. So, outside of that, that's how I use my phone. I love this phone. I'm still very, very happy with it. Um, you know, it's. Am I going to upgrade to the 4 this fast? No. And another reason I'm bringing this up is right now, the, the Z Fold 3 is on sale for $7.99 at Best Buy with a new activation on all the carriers. And the unlocked was $11.99 today. So I have the T-Mobile version. I don't like having a carrier version phone. You know, I've, I've been on a Pixel for a long time because I got tired of carriers and their updates. Do I have any problems with it? No. Does it ever get in the way? No. Does the carrier do anything to annoy me no but i don't like there was a t-mobile update the other day what that was god knows right and that's that doesn't make me very happy so if you can get unlocked if you can afford it just go for the unlocked you know when the z fold threes go on sale to clear out for the z fold fours grab an unlock one and you'll be so happy otherwise again it doesn't really get in the way i never notice i'm using the t-mobile version it doesn't bother me but that is what it is so Outside of that, would I still recommend this phone? Yes, I would. Um, am I happy with the phone? Yes, I am. Any expectations for the phone for folks that are wondering about the size? I don't remember if I posted this before, but the general size, I want to say general, the exact size of this phone is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0. That's what this phone this phone is. It just you take these be these bezels off and spot on, they are the exact same, practically the exact same size, top to bottom, side to side. And I love that. The screen quality, and again, I'm sorry you guys have a light in front of me, so I'm trying to get the angles, but you know, they both look really great. It, it's I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's light, it you know, it's smooth, it's it's really good. I definitely think it's worth the purchase. Um, just be aware of, I've, I have friends that do go to the beach with their phone and to different places and they're pretty adventurous with their phones. I'm a little more reserved, so I'm more careful, but that's up to you and how you want to handle those things. But I would definitely say grab this phone on sale, enjoy it, love it. You're going to be happy with it. Um, things you'll, you'll run into six to nine months after will be that front screen just getting beat up, not peeling off, but just getting a little beat up. So take that off right off the jump. Put a tempered glass screen on the front. You'll be so happy. The inside screen, I haven't tackled that yet because it hasn't come up. But, I mean, I'm folding it every day. So it's going to come up and this little plastic screen protector will get loose. So hopefully there'll be more tempered glass folds, which I highly, highly doubt. There'll be something that's getting higher ratings that I'll place on here, but I'm not in a rush to do it. What's also good for you guys that waited is the fact that the cases are on huge sale right now. So the phone's been out so long. When I first got this phone, my wallet case was 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. Now a lot of them are way cheaper. Just general, that armor case I showed you was $10. I found another one that was $6 that could hold a stylus on the back. So there's a lot of options. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.